What was that? What was that? What was that? What was it? Away from us. That's oh red. That's God. red. That's Everything's been messing with our equipment all day. We traveled to the historic city of Galleon. 30 minutes west of Mansfield, Galleon is rich with industrial history and old manufacturing hubs, which attracted many influential inventors to the area throughout the late 1800s and early 1900s. Bloomer and Nellie Gill were a rich couple whose bloodline has been in the area since the early 1800s. They built a rather impressive mansion in Galleon starting in 1902. With a mansion of this size and a town thriving in industrial progression at the time, it wasn't unusual for the Gill family to throw parties, inviting their dear friends Henry Ford, Harvey Firestone, and Thomas Edison, along with many other iconic people of time. The house was eventually sold to Dean and Bonnie Talbot in 1926, but this didn't stop the culture of the house as parties would still commonly be thrown. In 1956, Dean's father passed away off property and Dean's mother, Eva, moved into the mansion to be with Dean and Bonnie. Dean unexpectedly died not long after, leaving Bonnie and Eva living in the house alone. Eva eventually passed away in her bed and Bonnie then decided to move on and sell the house. Eva's the only death inside the house, however, experiences of the paranormal have occurred for multiple years now. <laughs> Stories of voices being heard, footsteps, strange mists, and orbs and shadow figures lurking in the house have brought many concerns to investigators that the activity may not be coming from the history of the house itself, but rather a disturbed graveyard from across the street. Well, that's why we are here, to see if we can confirm that the hauntings of the Gill House are residual spirits from the graveyard, or perhaps the spirit of Eva. Ohio is filled with very strange places, with thousands of stories of the paranormal, as well as thousands of skeptics. We are here to travel around Ohio and spend an entire night in some of the state's most iconic haunted locations to capture proof oh, you hear that? as to whether these locations are truly haunted. Four people are here to bring myth to reality. Oh my God. These are the hauntings of Ohio. All right, so we are at the Gill House. It is currently 40 degrees. 9.05 and 40 degrees. I'm going to go on an airplane in. Actually, out, inside right here is 40 degrees. Outside, it's like one. And then in there, it's even so. It's supposed to get down to negative seven. Um, so we are at the Gill House. We are going to start off by uh, rolling on some metal, go sweep the house, take some digital images. And we also have, as you can see with these wires, we have security cams running all throughout the house. So let's see, is that gonna? No, I had to try this. So look at that. Take a look at that. Go, Carl. See that? The wires do not affect the metal meter. Right. So these are not triggering our device. Even touching it, nothing. So, all right, let's go. Five point four. Point two. Oh man. I have no speed. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have them with you? <laughs> I thought we were good. I thought you always carried them. <laughs> oh, not oh, on me, man. Oh, oh, Jesus. So, Jack's giving me my uh, SD card for my digital camera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that. Um, he's not happy about it, but this is a good time to uh, subscribe to the channel if you like our content. Helps out a lot. We love it. We love it. If you haven't already, go check out the Hinsdale episode. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yes, check out the Hinsdale. That is one of our favorites. Ouch. <laughs> that, is, that is one of our favorite videos that we have not put together yet. <laughs> if there's any spirits here, can you interact with my millimeter? Point two. I'm very, I don't know why I'm very hesitant to walk down there. Go ahead and stand I'm with you, I'm Jack. I'm with you. Because, right, you stay down here. Oh, you want me to stay down here? Actually, no, I got, I got the camera behind me. Okay. 3.3, right here. 3.3? Kyle, we got a 3.3. Alright. Oh! 
What was that? What was that? What? 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 what was it? I don't know. I heard something. Sorry. He's sick of the crap. I mean, he started booking it. Like, oh no. Who <sighs> Jack does that? <laughs> started booking it. Dude, I, I started walking that direction. I heard something. What'd you hear? I could hear like, like you hear the, you see the leaves on the ground right here. Oh yeah. It almost sounded like. Yeah, like, like that. Oh, like something crunched on a leaf. Yeah, yeah. dude. It, it sounded like something crunched on the freaking don't, leaf. Don't freak out. These are nice bits. I, 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 man, I get, I get triggered easily. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? 9.2. Yes, where? Are you over there? There's nine. Okay, it's at point eight. Shine your light. Shine your light. Oh, here, here. I heard it again. Let's see if there's any animals. Because we have the animals on investigation. Yes, we have that rat, that darn raccoon. There's nothing in here. Squirrels. But this is the Edison room. This is where. This is where the guests would be. Yeah, like Edison, Ford. So if they all stayed in here. Seven. There's a seven. Seven. If you want to make any sense of it, possibly. Um, a respectful spirit who did not die in the house but is staying here, it would stay in the guest room. Right. I don't know. That's just, that could be a theory. I'm having a feeling in my gut. I know like we like to ease into things, but I really think we should go to the basement. All right. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that works. Cool. Basement? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're in the basement. Um, there's a spirit of a, I think a Native American man with like long hair. Our tour guide told us earlier, she saw him right in front of his face with long hair and eyes. So we'll be trying to communicate with him or any other spirits down in the basement. We'll be rolling on mail. Got these cat balls that we tried using at Hinsdale. So let's see what we can get. If you want us to leave, can you uh, make one of these balls light up? <gasps> oh! Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Can you step away from the device, please? Oh, Thank you so much. Great. I just want to note, I don't have the intensity up on that all the way either. Yep. Turn your uh, thing off airplane mode. What? what? Your phone. It is. Turn it off airplane mode. I'll turn it off. Nothing. Did you get a, is it off airplane mode? Yeah. Did you yeah. get a text message? Yeah, I got the test. Send one again. Send one again. Yeah, I got it. It said hello. All right. Nothing. 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 So... What, whatever that was, it wasn't interference by any means. I mean, I was right next to it. Got two text messages and nothing. Just to prove it again, that was me. So it has to be like touching it. We got a room of EMF here, and I'm also going to be rolling on K2. We got a mail on this thing. That was me. We got a mail on there. And then we got Rem, and the Nunu, and three kitty balls. Okay. Oh, cool. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, hey. Sorry. Oh. Okay, make it go, make it red. That's oh red. My that's gosh, red. Dude, that's high red. That's all the way red. It's tripped. It's tripped. Whoa, hey, it it does does me. Right. Dude, it's doing the thing again. It's doing the like. All right, that's enough. Stop. Step away. Thank you. If you step away, we can ask you. Yep. Oh my. Wow. Gosh. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't tripped. 
All right, thank you. Can you stop? Last time we saw this was a crossing. I'm zero. Yeah. Oh. Wait, oh. No, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, Alright, step take a step back. Alright, thank you. Now if that's you. No. We know. Stop. Alright, thank you. So oops, sorry. Here, I'm gonna zero if if you are a Let me zero it out. Oh, which one is it the bottom one or one. Okay. If you are a woman, can you make that light up? You're a woman. If you are a male, can you uh, make that light up? Or anything on the ground? Can you demonstrate how those work? Just like this. Interesting. Strange. That didn't even go to green, that just went straight red. Straight red and blue. All right, I moved it on the floor. Jeez. Dude. Stop. Step away. Let me try something. Put the tab. Oh. If, <laughs> he likes the bell, man. if that was you, can you light it up again for us? Yep. All okay, right, thank cool. you. Cool. Now, alright. Alright. Okay, it's not Kyle's stuff. Do you want to use another piece of equipment to talk to us? Ooh. So you turn on the light. Do you like the light? No, yes. No? If you want me to turn the light back on, can you uh, make that go off? Want me to turn the light on? Turn it on. Do you like that? Do you like the light being on? The answer is no. Light up the stuff. Light up the melon. No. Oh. All right. So you, you, you do not like light. You don't like light. Is that better? Okay. Yep. It's All fun. right. So you like the darkness. After heavy activity on the mel meter, we decide to pull out our SLS camera to see if we can capture this potential spirit on camera. We're gonna try one more session here. They don't want to talk, but um, they're definitely uh. We're gonna try and catch him off guard with the SLS. So we're gonna do a whole sweep of the house with SLS. And if we can't catch him on the SLS, then we we'll try to catch him with our other equipment. We're using the Mel and the Ovilus 5B. So uh, we're gonna go first. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's, you catch him first. Oh man, I missed this. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling real good. Oh, it's distorted. Point one. <clears throat> Point one. Ooh, that little spike. Other than that little spike, I don't know what it began to look like. What was, what was that? Hello. I don't know what it began to look like. What, was, what that? was that? I don't know what it began to look like. What, was, what that? was that? It's going down in temperature, dude. Really? Yeah, I was at like 41, now it's at 39. All right, all right. Oh gosh. It's all over the place. It's like in the corner. It's like blocking our way up the steps. You don't want us to go? Right off the bat, we capture a strange distorted figure on our SLS camera. 
it's almost as if the spirit is trying to widen itself to block the stairs, preventing us from proceeding. Soon after, we hear a loud, unexplained squeal come from directly behind Brett. I don't know what it began to look like. What was, what that? was that? And then at the exact same time, the Mel meter that Jack is holding drops two full degrees. It's going down in temperature, dude. Really? Yeah, I was at like 41, now it's at 39. We're wondering if these three events are possibly related, and does the spirit want to be seen right now? Alright, we're gonna go past it. That's interesting. Oh, we're gonna go up. Point two. Oh, it just turned all blue, it disappeared. Point two again. Point two, that's weird. Yeah. You know, oh, it, it went up in temperature, almost two degrees. Really? Yeah. Very, very Was that 39? No, it was at like 41. 4.3. So I think whatever it was, we're following it. After those series of events, nothing else was captured upstairs, so we decided to head to the basement to continue our sweep of the house. Take a, take a right. Yep. What's in here? Uh, people uh, said they've seen things coming out of the chimney. Bring up the sink, see if anybody's washing their hands. Washing hands over here? Ghosts don't have hands. If ghosts have hands, they would show them and wave them for me. Hey, like the like guys at Hillview. Like the guy at Hillview walking? Sure. The guy at Hillview was amazing. Like I Whoa, what? did you hear that? Yeah, I think that, was that me? No, that oh, that was me. the sink. It was the sink. I got Jimmy. Jimmy. Whoa, what the? I got Jimmy. Jimmy. Whoa, what the? I got Jimmy. Jimmy. Whoa, what the? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that, well, at first I thought I like launched a rock from my shoe, but that wouldn't make sense. Throw a rock at it. Did you throw a rock? It was this one. You hear? Point three. Zero. I right. remember insulting it. <laughs> Can you manifest yourself next to me? That was so weird. That was a really weird noise. Oh no, not again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. You're touching my bag. What? Oh. Something is inside of my bag. <laughs> what? Is it you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a mouse. Can we use this one? No. Oh. No. What'd you do? It disappeared. Everything's been messing with our equipment all day. It, it turned off. Well, that's... That's, peculiar. That's very mosomenos. That's very ghostly, considering after we heard that freaking noise. <laughs> that is so weird. That was really weird. <laughs> that was not a normal thing to happen. It's almost like it's almost like it didn't want us to see him. Dude, these ghosts are actually low-key kind of smart. Mm -hmm. There we go. We're back, ghosts. You thought you could turn it off? Not today. Actually, I'm curious. Do it again. Turn it off again. Or, you know, I had the perfect amount of time to get the away from us. Or crawl in his backpack. Or crawl in his backpack. Or crawl in his Once again, another odd series of events occurred in the basement. We hear what sounds to be a rock being tossed at the sink. I don't Jimmy. Whoa, what the? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that. Followed by our SLS camera completely shutting off, followed by me accusing Brett for pulling my backpack. It, it turned off. Quit touching my bag. What? Oh. Something is inside of my bag. We left the Gill house with more questions than answers, but sometimes that's how the investigations go. We may not have had many intelligent responses, but definitely caught some strange evidence that did nothing but frustrate us. Turn it off again. Or, you know, I had the perfect amount of time to get the away from us.
After five hours of investigating, you sometimes just have to realize that not every spirit is going to be willing to talk to you. Our plan was to catch them off guard, and at the end, I would argue that we were successful in doing so. It's like in the corner. It's like blocking our way up the steps. I don't know what it began to look like. What was what that? What was that? Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that... Was that me?